Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Bless, 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 bless to be here. Bless to be doing fresh manna this morning. So while we're waiting for folks to get on our conference call, I'm going to go ahead and share because, hey, I like outreach and I like being able to share and, and, and preach Jesus any way I can. And this right here, sharing on Facebook is an easy way to uh, to get people to get the word of God. <laughs> you know, my life would change when I got the word. I'm telling you, my life was changed when I got the word. And so I, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and share this on my. Let's see how this thing is going. Share this on my thing on my. There I go. All right. You know, sometimes these electronic things is a trip. And for you all that have already shared it, I appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and share in Jesus name before we get started. And in the name of Jesus. All right. Shared on my page. And then I have a few groups that I share too as well. My private groups that I have. On Facebook. And I'm going to go ahead and share that. How y'all doing today? Y'all doing good today? <laughs> well, I am just excited. I am doing great today. I'm doing great today. Let's see who we have well, before we get started. Who we have on our conference call today. Let's see. Mm, let me scroll back. And like I said, if I don't say your name, it's because I don't say your name. You know, I'm happy to have you on here. How you doing, Miss Tina Ross? Glory to God. Miss Carolyn McCollum. Hello. Uh, we got uh, Catherine Moffitt. Hello, Kat. Hey, Miss Sharon. Hello. Sharon Galloway. Tony Lisby. Hello. Deborah Adams. Hello. Trina. Hill, this is Katrina Hill. Hello, uh, Cameron King. Hello, uh, Sister uh, Tennille O'Quinn. Hello, glory to God. Carolyn McCullum. Hello, Cynthia Portis. Hello, glory to God. Sister Carla Marshall. Hello, Sister Le uh, Beulah Brumsfield. Hello. Glory to God. Well, it's a blessing having y'all. Like I said, if I didn't say your name, it's because I didn't see your name. And while people are still getting on Facebook, we're going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> My time is real limited today because we are going to be uh, uh, this morning. Uh, well, today we're going to be dropping off pallets of water at five JPS schools. Excited about that. This is some supernatural stuff going on. We're super excited about being a blessing to a Jackson Public Schools in the name of Jesus. We've been giving out waters and, and uh, uh, so far we've given out 18 pallets of water. And if you don't know how much that is, ooh, that's about, uh, that's over 800, 800, that's over 800 uh, 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 cases of water. We're going to uh, Walmart today, this morning, and getting uh, ten more pallets of water to deliver to five JPS schools. Five JPS schools, uh, elementary schools, uh, will be getting uh, two pallets of water, and we're really excited about that and thanking God. Oh, we got so many testimonies and and so many supernatural things that has happened since we begin to give with this water thing. It is incredible, and I can't wait for Sunday. You want to be there Sunday so that you can hear that. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise you, and we thank you for this wonderful and blessed day, because this is the day that you have made. We're rejoicing and so glad in it. We thank you, Father, for uh, blessing, Father. We thank you, Father, for, 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 for just 
oh, supplying it and being there for us. And as we continue our series here, the love series, Lord, we're not just doers of your word, but we're not just hearers of your word, but doers of your word, thereby getting results, getting God results in our lives. We speak the love language. Thank you, Father, for it. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, take control. Teach us and guide us and lead us and show us and, 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 and do all that you do in our lives. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. So last week, we was talking about love language. We was talking about love language and... Uh, this week, we're going to continue on that. Hey, Miss Tommy was Tommy Martin. Blessed to have you. Karen Lewis, blessed to have you. Sister Eureka, blessed having you. Cynthia Portis, blessed having you. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. And so we're going to be talking this morning, continuing our series on love language. And uh, so we under, we understand that. Now, when when you are in the kingdom, whatever kingdom, whatever lands, whatever place you're going to be uh, dwelling in, you need to know how to speak the language. You need to know how to speak the language in order to be able to move about and be proficient and, and be able to communicate in that particular place. Well, there is a kingdom language. The, the kingdom language is... The love language. And what is the love language? The love language is the word of God. The word of God is God's love letter to us. It's God's script to our lives. Every word of God is immersed in his love. And so when we speak the word of God, we're speaking kingdom language, which is a love language. And so you need to be, you need to know how to do that. And I gave you a lot of scriptures for that. And we're going to continue on. If you have your Bibles, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2 in the King James Version, it says, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that we may grow thereby. So he says, so we find that the word of God is, 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 is nutritious to us. It causes us to grow. So the word of God speaking this language uh, uh, produces in our lives. Did you know that? Words produce, words can produce good, and words can produce bad. But the word of God causes us to grow in the spirit. So we want to make sure that the word of God is, 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 is spoken in our lives, that we are immersed in the word, that we study the word, that the word has first place in our lives. <clears throat> Proverbs uh, chapter 2 and verse 6. Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 6 says, for the Lord giveth wisdom, out of the mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. So we find here that the Lord giveth wisdom, and out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. So we find that the word is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The word is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And of course, we find that in Proverbs. Proverbs talks all about the word of God being wisdom, knowledge, understanding. And so you might not understand something. You might have questions. You might be lost. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, if you, <coughs> excuse me, if you're lost, even if you ain't lost, you need to get the word so you can get wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. What is wisdom anyway? Wisdom is the word of God applied, meaning wisdom is the word of God Excuse me. Wow. There we go. Wisdom is the word of God acted on. So it is very important that we don't walk around dumb dumbs. <laughs> it's important we don't walk around dumb dumbs. <laughs> you don't have to walk around dumb dumb. You can walk around full of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. <laughs> you don't have to be ignorant. In the name of Jesus. As a matter of fact, the Lord don't want us to be ignorant of Satan's devices. When we get the word of God, we have an enlightenment. Because the Holy Spirit will only speak to us through the word. In other words, he uses the word to speak to us. And so if you don't know the word, then it's going to be hard for you to hear his voice. So it's important that you get the word. 
in James chapter 1 and verse 21. James chapter 1 and verse 21. That's why we word, folks. Oh, yeah, I'm a word, sister. Absolutely. How many of y'all word pushers? I'm a word pusher. I push the word. I, I, all this other stuff, uh, it, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 spiritual calisthenics. You know, uh, 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 you know, <laughs> all that other stuff, that don't mean nothing. If you ain't got the word, then I ain't interested. I need the word. I need the word. What it does say the Lord. Because your experiences, and God bless your experiences and your testimonies. But if it's not the word, and it's not coming from the word, in other words, you using the word of God to show that this testimony is valid. It validates your testimony. Ah, the word will validate your testimony. Yes, that's right. You are overcoming. That's why you got that job. You are you are the head, and not the tail. That's why they gave you that position. You are uh, 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 healed today because Jesus, by Jesus stripes, you are healed. You see, so the word validates our testimony, and as a matter of fact, the word causes us to have a testimony. And so, it, you know, we have to understand that the word is most important. And so in James chapter one and verse 21, it says, wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity and naughtiness and receive with meekness. Meekness means teachable. Be very teachable. The engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. It says here, receive with teachableness. You don't know it all. I know I don't know it all. <laughs> so it's very important to stay humbled and understand that and receive the engrafted word, which is able to do what? Save your souls. There's a lot of people's souls who are sick today. Yeah, there's a lot of sick souls out there today, especially after this here pandemic. You find a lot of people that have entered into uh, uh, oppression and depression. You have a lot of people that don't have peace, can't sleep. A lot of people that are unhappy and sad. All kinds of uh, wickedness uh, going in and out of their heads, listening to uh, uh, the the news and 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 some of this Christian stuff is just as dark as as the news. Uh, they always talk about we in a dark place. Oh, woe oh, is me. Well, I don't see it as that. Hey, I know Jesus. I'm excited. I'm thankful. I'm happy. I'm I'm blessed. Glory to God. I remember one time. Uh, just a little side journey here. I remember one time a young lady came to my office and, and she was, uh, 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 I guess she was going to try to tell me about the blood moons and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, hey man, you know, blood moons and all this. And so she, you know, we got to go. Something funny now. Okay. Sorry about that. My internet kind of went out for a second. My internet went out for a second. So y'all come on back in, come on back in the house. Lord Jesus. So y'all back in? Good. <laughs> you, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. This internet stuff is a trip. Well, anyway, and so yeah, I guess they don't want me to say this 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 thing. But you know, uh, about oh it's dark and this and that. And I said, hold it. I said, hold it right there. I said, I hear what you're saying and all that, and, and what's the, all this stuff is, you know, you're talking about all this stuff that, you know blood moons and all this kind of stuff. I said, but let me tell you this. I said, I'm excited about what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm thanking God that I'm in the land of the living today because I'm able to preach the gospel to the poor, to the broken, to give them hope. If I'm walking around hopeless, what, what they looking at me for? Uh, to give them hope, to give them the love of God. I said, I'm excited. I said, when and, and, and should you, when should Jesus return? Anytime soon, you're not going to find me in the closet, shut up and shut away and, and, and shaking and everything because, you know, it's wrapping up. You're going to find me with my war boots on. In other words, you're going to find me out in the streets 
helping people. You're going to find me loving people. You're going to find me uh, spreading the gospel. You're going to find me. I'm not going to be in no corner. I'm not backing out. I'm excited about what's going on. This is a great time to be alive. I'm glad to be a part of the end time revival. Glory to God. I don't know about y'all. I'm not afraid. I think it's a great time. I think the world is more ready now to receive the love of God, to receive the gospel than ever before. What are you talking about? It's bad out here. This is a great time to be alive. It's a good time to be alive. Glory to God. Because the darker the light, the brighter the, the darker the night, the brighter the light. Lord told me that. The darker the night, the brighter the light. I ain't backing up. I'm not backing up. Man, I'm excited. I go out when I get out and, and meet people. Stay with me. Stay with me. I apologize for that. Internet keep. Y'all just stay there. We just, we're going to keep going. Because this internet is going to try to act funny. But y'all just come back in. If it go out, just stay in there. It'll, it'll come back in Jesus' name. But uh, 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 like I said, I'm super excited about what's going on in Jesus' name. God is faithful. <laughs> God is faithful. Yes, he is. The darker the night. The Lord told me this. The darker the night, the brighter the light. But you got to know a word to know that. You got to know him. Do you know him? <laughs> Woo, I ain't backing out. No, sir. Oh, one thing I don't like is I don't like the devil winning. I, I, I don't like the devil winning. I don't like the devil having the upper hand. He ain't going to never have the upper hand on me because I know Jesus is Lord and I know that we got the victory in Jesus' name. So receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. So if you want your soul to be lifted up, if you want to be lifted out of a dark and miry place, if you want to get peace back into your soul, if you need to be revived, then you need to get in the word of God and you need to receive the word of God with meekness teach him I wonder why he said with meekness because because uh, uh, a lot of times we'll try to have you ever tried to tell somebody about what God said and how he, you know you're healed you don't have to be toe up from the floor up you can you know you can you know you're blessed and they give you every excuse under the book as to why they're not well that's not receiving the word with teachableness uh-huh and so that's what, and then, okay, so we're talking about the language in the kingdom is the word of God. There's another language in the kingdom that's, uh, that, uh, that is kingdom language. There's another kingdom language, and that language is praying in other tongues. Oh, Satan don't like that. Satan don't like us to pray in other tongues. He don't like us. He don't like us. <laughs> praying with other tongues because he has no, he doesn't have, well, he don't like us getting in the word either, but he don't like us praying other tongues because he ain't got nothing that in his arsenal that can stop it. He don't have anything in his arsenal can, can stop the word of God. And he don't have anything in his arsenal that can stop are praying in other tongues. As a matter of fact, he don't even understand what we're saying. He don't understand what we're saying. And he, he, he can't, he can't, he can't get it. Because we're speaking a divine language. We're speaking a language that is kingdom language. It's a divine language. It's us speaking directly to God in our, in our own, in his, in that kingdom language. See, our flesh, our understanding, our, our flesh cannot understand it, but our spirit is speaking, uh, uh, our spirit is unctioned by the Holy Spirit to utter these words. And so let's turn with me to Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Romans chapter 8, verse 26 says, Likewise, the Spirit also, let me see. Okay, likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself mean really himself making intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered and 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 that word uttered in the greek is in articulate speech or in a uh, 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 speech that you can in your regular language a speech that you can understand and so here we find that the spirit 
help us our infirmities when we speak in tongues. He gives us the unction. He gives us the style. He gives us the manner of speaking. But guess what? The only thing I said that he has, Satan doesn't have no arsenal against the word of God, against us in the word of God, or against us speaking in tongues. But he uses us against ourselves. He uses us against ourselves because he didn't have anything to counteract that. So he'll use us to counteract it ourselves by uh, us by uh, uh, convincing us not to do it. See, that will is a powerful thing. The will will stop the power of God from moving in your life. If you don't will to have the Lord in your life, if you don't will to have the word of God working in your life, if you don't will to speak in other tongues, guess what? You won't. And so he'll convince you not to do it. He'll convince you to will not to do it. That's why you got to make your will, will your will to, to get into the word of God. Will your will to speak in tongues. You should speak in tongues often. You should speak in tongues throughout the day. I'm, I, I, when I'm just sitting there, I, and Melissa said, what you doing over there? I'm over there praying in tongues. And I'm in there cooking. I'm praying in tongues. When I'm driving in the car, I'm praying in tongues. Taking my shower, praying in tongues. I pray in tongues every opportunity I can get because it edifies us. And we're here. Let's let's look at that. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 4, it says here that uh, he that speaketh in the unknown tongue edifieth himself. He that speaketh in the unknown tongue edifieth, edifieth himself. But he that prophesied edifies the church. The A part says, when you speak in other tongues, you charge yourself up. Some of you might be feeling kind of limp, uncharged. Not, uh, you know, uh, 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 you need some strength. Well, you need to pray in other tongues. Because praying in other tongues, speaking in other tongues, charges you. <laughs> it edifies you. I remember I was listening to a neurologist and he was uh, ministering and talking about the brain. And he said about, um, he was talking about a, um, a, a, a study that they did. And, and it was to uh, watch the activity of the brain uh, when people speak and when people talk. And so when the, the person was talking and, and, and everything, the activity, brain activity was going, they was dreaming and they're sleeping. Activity, you can see activity in the brain. But when they spoke in other tongues, they didn't see any activity. No activity in the brain. Why? It's because you speak with other tongues from your spirit, not from your head. From your spirit. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. Oh my God. Wow. So praying with all prayer, uh, Ephesians, Ephesians. So we want to make sure that we pray with all prayers. We want to make sure that we pray in, in, the, in our known language and in other tongues. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 8 says, praying with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto all with all perseverance and supplication. So we want to make sure that we pray in tongues. It edifies us. It is kingdom language. How often do y'all use your kingdom language? When you don't know what to pray for, when you don't know what is going on, pray in other tongues. When you when you uh when you get an unction from the Holy Spirit to just stop doing what you're doing and just start praying, pray in other tongues because you're praying God's perfect will towards a desired result. So of course Satan don't want you to pray in other tongues. Of course he don't want you to speak the kingdom language because he doesn't have anything to contradict it, counteract it other than you when he convinces you not to. And so you want to make sure that you speak in tongues often. I'm so glad I'm in a church that that's that that believes in speaking in tongues. I'm so glad I'm in a church that believes in the feeling, the fullness of the Holy Spirit. I tell you one thing, it is awesome. I remember I was listening to 
Uh, it was somebody on TBN. It was a, 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 a I think it was a, a Jewish, a Messianic Jew. That's a Christian Jew, and he was talking about. Uh, 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 let's see if I can. It was a while then, but it went something like this. Uh, 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 somebody was speaking in tongues and they was praying, and this other Jewish person they looked and they they heard them praying in tongues, and they said, "Oh, they're speaking heavenly language." They're speaking heavenly language. Do you know the arsenal that you have? My God, get in prayer. Open your mouth. Speak the word of God. Pray in other tongues. Now, this is what I got. I, 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 uh, uh, I got a few more minutes, just three minutes. I got to hurry up because we got to go and do some water distribution today. Well, let me, let me give you this last part. Oh, it was so good. Listen. A pastor teaches this sometimes, and he says he's going to teach it again real soon. But he says we need to start stop parakeeting the word of God, just parakeeting. You're just saying it, just saying it, just saying it. And we need to give God's word some voice. There's a difference between reciting the word of God and giving God's word some voice. There's a difference between if there's a difference between reading the word of God and then hearing the voice of God. Oh, what? There's a difference between reading the word of God and hearing the voice of God. When you hear the voice of God, that, I'm going to give you an example. If I say stop. If I read stop, okay, I read stop. Okay. But if I hear the voice say stop, I can hear inflections. I can hear tone. I can hear emphasis. I can hear. I can hear where it's emphasized. I can hear the heart of what is going on. When we're speaking the word of God, we need to give it voice. In other words, speak it from our heart. Speak it from our soul. Speak it with 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 emphasis instead of just parakeet and reciting the word. We need to give God's word some voice. And when we hear the voice of God versus hearing, uh, versus just, um, uh, uh, just reading words, then we begin to hear his heart. When we, hear, when we listen, sometimes when you're listening, when you're reading the word of God, you need to listen uh, for the voice of God. When you are in the word of God, when you're studying the word of God, you need to listen to the voice of God as he's telling you things. Listen to his tone, his inflection, his emphasis. Let him, uh, allow him and, and listen to him make things stand out. But when we we speak the word. We need to speak the word with authority. And that's why. That's why you need to know who you are in Christ. Because when you speak the word, you will speak it with authority. I thank you, Father, that by my by your stripes I am healed. I thank you, Lord, that you give me a peace. That passes understanding, keeping my heart and mind through Christ Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that our children, all our children are taught of the Lord and great is the peace of our children. I'm saying that from my heart. I'm saying that with everything in me. There's emphasis. There's authority. And when the word is spoken, you give the word voice and the word is spoken with authority. It causes all heaven to take note. Notice. Not just heaven, it causes hell to take notice too. And hell's got to get out of here because you have taken authority. You've given the word voice. He says here, the, the Lord says that his angels hearken to the voice of of the word of God, not the reciting, but the voice. When we speak it out in faith, when we speak the word out with authority, when we put emphasis and tone and texture in what we're saying, then angels wings begin to flap and they come into motion and, and go to work on our behalf. And you have to speak the word with voice, <laughs> not reciting. I'm saying with voice. I have a um, 101. Let me pull this out. You know, I got to hurry up. Y'all got me going. I don't want to be late. <laughs> I got a, 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 these are scriptures that I, see how toe up they are. I wouldn't change, trade this for nothing. 
Oh my God, I got so many scriptures that I'm, I'm, I pray when I'm in my prayer closet. But when I get to the 101 scriptures, and I give, gave many of you these right here, 101 scriptures. See, I got, uh, <laughs> I wrote another one in it. So it's actually from Pastor Leslie, 102. And so, <laughs> and so when I'm when I'm speaking those, uh, uh, let me speak out a little bit. We have, I, we have, I say we, because I'm praying for my family. I'm praying for you and all. I include you and I. I include, I include our, our, our members and our supporters in that. I, of course, in my family and, and all this. And we are, we have no struggles. Our bodies are healthy and strong. We're free from the burdens that are common to man. We're not plagued with human ills. And then going down, God said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Your days shall be 120. You shall be buried at a good old age. You should come to your grave and this is the Lord speaking to back to us, speaking to me, speaking to speaking to me. God said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Your days shall be 120. You shall be buried at a good old age. You shall come to your grave in a full age as a stock of corn comes this season. When I see the blood, I'll pass over you. The plague shall not come upon you to destroy you. I will take sickness away from the midst of you and the number of your days I will fulfill. And so I'm, I'm not reciting and, and, and on and on. I'm not reciting those, I am giving them voice. <laughs> I'm giving them voice. How many of you have the voice today to speak the word, taking authority over Satan and all his imps trying to control your life? Speak the word, give the word voice because voice has tone, emphasis, texture, inflection, and it and it has authority in it. And so don't recite the word, give the word some voice in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, we praise you and we thank you for the opportunity to give the word voice. To give the word voice when we are in prayer throughout the day. To give Holy Spirit voice when we are praying in other tongues, speaking your perfect will towards the desired result. We thank you, Lord, that we are your voice in the earth, speaking out your will <clears throat> to a lost and dying world. Thank you, Father, for using us because the brighter the, the darker the night, the darker the night, the brighter the light, and we shine in you. Thank you for it, Father. That we are, we are fluent <laughs> in our kingdom love language. Thank you, Father, for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you'd like to listen to this message again, just now, 605-313-5089, 605-313-5089. Put in your code 624-634. This is reference number 462. <coughs> Y'all keep us in your prayers. Today, uh, uh, we are going to uh, deliver 10, 10 pallets, 10 pallets. That's 400. How many pallets is that? How many bottles? That's, that's a lot of waters. It's uh, 480 cases of water to the JPS school system. Uh, we, we have five schools that God blessed us to be able to bless with this water. These babies need water. And we're going to get those. The Lord blessed us. We have funds coming in from the north, south, east, and west to purchase waters. We've already given away uh, over 800 and something uh, cases of water, almost 900 cases of water. And now we are uh, going to do this this week. Next weekend, we'll be uh, handed out more waters and water with our water distribution. We're just excited. We have a testimony to tell on Sunday about how God is using new beginnings to be a blessing to the Jackson community in the name of Jesus. And uh, it, it is powerful. You want to make sure you're there on Sunday to hear that. And you want to be a part of what we're doing here. We got, we got a, we got a book. I can't, I can't wait to tell y'all the Lord is moving supernaturally. My God, the Lord is moving supernaturally. I said supernaturally. Uh-huh. 
If you want to be blessed, you better come on and be a part in the name of Jesus. So y'all pray for us, our strength in the Lord, our, the favor of God, and that uh, God will multiply these seeds that's sown in this and, and that is that 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 it'll but feed five thousand. Why right? it'll multiply and be even more of a blessing than than we ever can even think of. So we love you all, and we'll see y'all on Sunday. We have in person service, in person service every Sunday. In person service. You don't want to miss church. Get to church, my God. All this going on and you ain't there. You need to be in church. Come on and come on church. We'll see you Sunday. Bring somebody with you. We love y'all and have a wonderful and blessed day.